Oh hey, welcome back. So look, we all know in the last Rogue Company update that just dropped came with a free version of Rogue Company's first attempt at a battle pass, right? Now look, like I said in another video, this is just a free version of their battle pass. I strongly believe that there will be a fully completed battle pass that we'll be able to pay for fully loaded with all types of content that we will all get addicted to grinding towards. Now hold on, that's not all. Aside from the battle pass information, that we will get into, it also has been confirmed that the Rogue Company team are striving to release, get this, 8 new rogues a year. Now look, there's a lot of things that can go right with adding a lot of new rogues, but there's also a lot of things that can go horribly wrong. Now the question is, can Rogue Company pull this off? So in today's video, I will be going over all the evidence supporting why I feel so strongly about Rogue Company having a fully fleshed out battle pass coming soon, and everything you need to know about Rogue Company adding 8 new rogues a year. Let's get into it. Oh, hold on, wait a minute, before all that, don't forget forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell because I'm your number one channel for all high quality Rogue Company content. Now, let's get into it. All right, so first and foremost, let's start with why I know for a fact that Rogue Company will be releasing a fully loaded battle pass. Well, look, it's actually pretty simple because, well, they flat out said they would. Now, if you look at the official Rogue Company content roadmap, it says that in Phase 3, which we are currently in, they will be releasing a Battle Pass. Now, I bet you're wondering why would I think that the free Battle Pass that came in the newest update isn't the Battle Pass that they're referring to in the content roadmap. Well, I have a couple of reasons for that. One, this entire time they have only referred to the free battle pass as a holiday surprise or the frigid hall event. Nowhere did Rogue Company actually mention the phrase or words battle pass. So yeah, we are the ones actually calling it a battle pass, not Rogue Company. And it honestly makes sense because look, it looks just like what we know to be a battle pass. But look, you need to know that Rogue Company never said the word battle pass and to them, it's just an event. Mm-hmm. Now look, my second reason why I know for an absolute fucking fact that Rogue Company is coming out with a fully loaded battle pass is, well, it just makes perfect sense. It, it just does, and I'm not gonna lie, a lot of things in this world just doesn't make any, any goddamn sense, but this, mm-hmm, this one does. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me explain. So look, it's obvious they have a very talented team working on skins, which we've seen in the store, and it would be the most logical move for Rogue Company to put that town to work in a battle pass, right? Which would make them some serious money, because I'm gonna be honest, my whole ass check is going right to that battle pass. I don't give a shit. And more importantly, it would give old and new players something to grind towards. Because look, if you didn't know, unfortunately, Rogue company is in fact dying so they need to give a reason for old and new players to keep playing so they can keep their game alive and i think a battle pass would at the very least or if not fix this issue now i bet you're wondering when is this battle pass going to come out well my best guess is at the earliest three months and at the latest six months or somewhere in between now I know that wasn't an exact answer, but it seems that Rogue Company already has the Battle Pass format down and packed, so we might see it sooner than you think, but I guess only time will tell. Now let me know down in the comments what you think. I want to know what rewards you want to see come to this Battle Pass, and hey, if you're talented at drawing, tag me in some of your concept arts for skins on my Twitter. I'll be looking forward to seeing those. Alright, so don't go anywhere. Now let's talk about Rogue Company confirming that they are looking at releasing 8 new rogues a year. So I bet you're probably wondering where did they confirm this because you've probably never even heard of this. Well, Scott Gandhi, the lead designer of Rogue Company, confirmed it himself on Reddit. Alright, so the user O2 of Club said, can you tell how frequently you guys plan to release new rogues? And then Scott Gandhi's official Reddit account replied saying, it's mostly to be determined, but our target goal is to release 8 rogues a year. So yeah, it has in fact been confirmed that this is actually happening. Well, at least they're trying to release 8 rogues a year. Now with that being said, this can very well make or break Rogue Company. 
Now, what I mean is that we've seen games like Rainbow Six Siege or even Overwatch add many playable characters over the years, and it has brought them much success. However, you have to keep in mind when a new character does not fit the narrative of a game or it's just flat out broken, this comes with some serious backlash from the fans. Now the question is, can the Rogue Company team add that many rogues a year and still manage to not break their game? Well honestly, yeah, I think they can. I truly think that the Rogue Company team can pull this off. Do I think every single rogue they release will be perfect? Well, no, but I do think that the Rogue Company team is very proactive and will change the necessary things that the fans do not like. Now let me know down in the comments what do you think. Also, I want to know what kind of rogues and what kind of abilities you want to see them add into the game. Let's have a real conversation. Well, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell because I'm your number one channel for all high quality Rogue Company content. Peace.